talk a little bit about how we can actually leverage IT Boost to be able to make our job as a technician a lot more efficient. So if we're using a uh, VoIP system that allows screen pops, I can come in and I can utilize IT Boost to create a screen pop in my customer's contact dashboard. Now from here, I can see all of the important information about that customer. So I can see, you know, this one's coming in from Brad at uh, JB Legal and all of his information. I can see any quick notes that we may have on this customer and all of those agreements that that customer is currently under. With this as well, I have the ability to come in and uh, review any and all of those service tickets. So if he's calling about a specific service ticket, say his computer's not turning on, very quickly, very easily, I can click into that ticket and it'll go ahead and launch ConnectWise Manage. With that, it'll go straight into our service ticket so I can very quickly and very easily be able to see exactly what's going on with this ticket. Now, as I'm moving back here into IT Boost, if uh, say Brad's calling us and he's having some issues with one of his servers, it makes it very easy for me to come in here and see first off any documentation we may have associated with him and the ability to come in and utilizing the integrations with ConnectWise Manage and ConnectWise Automate, I can actually come in and see all of that configuration information for his server. So with that, as I click in here, I can have a note set up to let me know, hey, this is a terminal server. We don't need to shut it down or reboot it during the middle of the day. And I have all of the information from the configurations within Manage. Now, it is a two-way sync within, with Manage. So what this means for us is that if I make changes within IT Boost, it's gonna go ahead and take those changes right over to Manage. Now, with this computer here, I've got all of this basic information, all of my different uh, workstation statistics from Manage. With one click, I can actually go ahead and access the computer management screen from within Automate as well, and be able to see all of those critical statistics about this machine. For example, you know, what machine it is, those top five processes, even be able to come in and see the processes running and that full software inventory. Let's take this a step further. So if I do need to go in and access this machine, I can actually click this icon right here and launch straight into ConnectWise Automate. So from there, I can continue to do all of the work that I need to be able to do on this machine very quickly, very easily. And as I come back to IT Boost here, I also have the ability to come in and store any local passwords in our password vault. With this, I can also link these different items together to kind of build those relationships between all of our different assets and our customers to be able to have all of that very quickly and easily searchable. And as with most of the documentation within IT Boost, I have a full revision history. So with this, I can come in here and if we're seeing something that seems a little bit off, I can take a look at this revision history and see, hey, there were some changes made. If I need to go ahead and move back to an earlier revision, I can just click in here, move it back and restore it very quickly, very easily. I don't have to sit there and spend a ton of time doing that. If we find that we do need to go out to Brad's site here to uh, work on one of his servers or one of his workstations, I can come to my company dashboard here and be able to see all of that important information about Brad's company. I can see where we're located, uh, all of that basic information, any notes we may have regarding that site, any agreements that he's covered under. I can also come in and see all of that asset statistics. So with this, it's gonna give me the ability to see, hey, you know, I've got two servers I'm managing, 14 computers, 16 network devices. That way, if I need to be able to access that information, I can pop in, click into any of these, and it'll pull all of that information from me here. With this as well, I have the ability to come in and see any of those assets we may be managing for Brad. So with those, if we have devices that are under warranty, I can click in, see exactly which ones are about to expire, may have expired or are currently active. And from there, if I click into these links here, it'll take me directly to that configuration within Manage. I can also manage all of my domains and uh, SSL certificates for my customers right from IT Boost. So with that, it gives me that information to see when things are about to expire, which is expired and what's active. So that way I know, hey, I've got another two months before we need to go ahead and update those domains. I also got the ability to see any additional tickets that uh, they've submitted as a company. This way I can see if there were any spikes, if there were any environmental issues that may have happened and spot those trends before I go on site. And 
I've got the ability to see all of my customer feedback from right here within this company dashboard. That's gonna let me know if I'm walking into a firestorm or if I'm walking into a uh, company that thinks I'm their tech hero. With this as well, I can even come in here and I can search all of the different tickets that this company has submitted and I can even create tickets on the fly. So if I'm on site and I need to be able to create a ticket for an issue that we found, well, I can actually go ahead and do that from right here in IT Boost and have it create that ticket in Manage. This is gonna make sure that we are taking care of our customers as efficiently as possible. Now, if I'm on the site for our customer, and I need to be able to come in and access things like that knowledge base. I can come in and see this right from our company management screen. All of this documentation for this company is specific to this company. So with this, it makes it very quick, very easy for me to be able to come in and find that documentation that I need to be able to access. So if I come in and we have a customer that needs to add Exchange to an iPhone. I can go ahead and I can have this documentation ready. I can even have all of my notes, any local passwords we may have stored if it's a device, right here in one place. Again, I can see all of those different linked items here to be able to see those relationships between all of our different items. So if we're you know, copying the uh, location specific documentation or if we assigned it to a customer, I can see all of that. I can also take this document and make it public or private facing. If I make it public facing here, I actually have the availability to come in and copy this link and then share that link with my customer without requiring any sort of login information from them. So it makes it very quick, very easy to share. And again, with this documentation, we have that full revision history to help make sure that we see exactly what's going on here with our documentation. We're able to come in and revert it back as needed. Now, with this as well, I have the ability to uh, build my own custom templates with NIT Boost. So this is great for things like if we're going out and doing a site survey. I can come in here and I can build out my own custom template for things like site pictures. So that that way, as we're building out this survey, I can come in and from here, I can go ahead and I can build out these different templates to be able to see all of that important information right here in one place. From here, if I need to go in, add more pictures, I can come in and drag and drop those files straight into these images, add any notes that are needed. And if I'm utilizing IT Boost on my mobile phone, it can actually access my camera roll and my camera on my phone to be able to add these pictures in. So it makes it very quick, very easy to get these pictures into our documentation. Because really, a picture is worth a thousand words and being able to have it in one place makes our life as a technician a lot easier and a lot quicker. You're probably looking at this going, hey, you know, this looks really great, but what's the setup like for it? Well, I'll go ahead and let you know, setup is actually pretty easy when it comes to being able to set up IT Boost the way you want it. From this little graduation cap here, I can click in and I can see all of the different steps I need to take to go ahead and personalize IT Boost and set up all of those different assets, permissions, all of that information right here within the program. So that way, it's step by step, gives us the let's go and information. From here as well, I have the availability to come in and change information about my profile. As a bonus, IT Boost also has a dark mode. So with this, for all of us that are techs, we have that right there at our fingertips. Now, you know, they do say that um, Documentation is important, but do you really know why? Documentation is actually really important because it is said to be the next major security breach. If you're not keeping your documentation secure, you're not keeping your documentation up to date, you're creating uh, an issue for both yourself and for your customers in that security threat. Good documentation also promotes good practices. And those good practices, well, those are gonna lead to more efficient technicians. With those more efficient technicians, you're gonna be able to drive revenue and you're gonna be able to uh, drive your customer happiness. With your customer happiness, that's where you start making your customers more sticky so that they're gonna stay with you and be able to drive all of that revenue for you. Now, you're probably thinking, well, this looks you know, really great, but we've got a current documentation solution and you know, it took a while to get it set up. Well, I'm gonna let you know it's very easy to go ahead and uh, 
take that information from your current documentation solution and import it directly into IT Boost. So I can come to my import data function here, add a new source file. And with that, it makes it very easy to get all of that information that we uh, exported from our current documentation solution and go ahead and bring it right into IT Boost so we can make that documentation faster and make it work for you.